the area marked as x in the night eye deflection curve represents so here we can see there's an image of a graph okay this is a stress stream graph and what we can see it is that it is a night eye stress stream graph so the material that is being displayed on this graph is the night eye okay now if you see this graph carefully you can see that there is austenite present at one end and martensite present at other end okay so we are aware that night eye has a special property of pseudo elasticity okay, it behaves as a pseudo elastic material what does this mean it means that whenever force is applied or stress is applied on the material it can convert from one allotropic form to another that is from an austenite to a martensite on activation and then again from a martensite to an austenite on reactivation. So the stress strain graph uh, basically tells us the load deflection rate and the elasticity or flexibility of the material. So here what we see is that whenever force is applied, the austenite is getting converted into martensite at a particular force level. But when the martensite is going back or getting deactivated back into the austenite, the force level is not the same. There is a difference in the force value or there is an energy loss that is seen between activation or deactivation. Now clinically this is very important because it tells us that when the uh, wire is activated into the arch, the, um, the load deflection rate is going to be lower or smaller during reactivation. Okay? Now this difference between the energy levels that is marked as X here is known as hysteresis. Okay? And this is a very characteristic type of a graph that is seen only with night eye wire because it expresses pseudo-elasticity. Had it been any other material such as a stainless steel graph, the graph would look something like this, where there is a straight line and after which uh, on ex uh, excessive force the uh, material will get deformed. Okay, so here on the stress strain graph for the material like the stainless steel what we see is that there is something known as yield strength something known as proportional limit resilience formability okay so there are various uh, uh, properties of a material now they have asked us resilience spin back elastic modulus right so how will we differentiate that from hysteresis or what are these other properties which are mentioned in the options so resilience is basically the energy storing capacity of a material so that is the area under the stress strain graph over here that is uh, present up until the proportional limit that is up until the material behaves like an elastic material that is when it is uh, bent it can come back to its original position after it has reached the yield strength okay now when more force is applied the material is no, going, no longer going to behave in an elastic way it's going to behave in a plastic way meaning it is going to undergo deformation so when the material undergoes deformation it becomes formable so that property is known as formability up until when the material is behaving in an elastic way so up until then it is known as resilience okay that is the energy storage capacity or how much the material can be uh, uh, a force can be or strain can be exerted on the material without its fracture. The other options given are spring back and elastic modulus. So spring back is also something similar that is seen with the elastic property of the material or up until the elastic property that is if you bend the uh, wire, a stainless steel wire, it will uh, with a certain amount of force if it is within the elastic range of that wire it is going to come back to its original position that is spring back okay or also flexibility so when you say that the material has high spring back you mean the material is very flexible so even if you apply large amount of force it can still uh, withstand it and it will come back to its original position okay now uh, the last was elastic modulus now elastic modulus is basically the slope of the stress strain graph which is a constant value for a particular material like the stainless steel will have uh, a Young's modulus the same way night eye will have another Young's modulus so this is a property that is a constant that cannot be altered and that is uh, the, got from the slope of the stress strain graph so here what they have shown us okay so don't get confused this is not the slope this is the difference in the force levels between the activation and deactivation this is hysteresis